When you think about the incredible, gorgeous Indian state of Jammu and Kashmir, you think about a few things. Snow-clad peaks, natural beauty, heavenly mountain ranges, mm, saffron fields, large, red-cheeked, sweet, juicy apples. Gorgeous, but the state has added a spicy new flavor to Indian cricket. Guess what, folks? Fast bowling has come a long way. Super fast bowling. Welcome the new ambassador of Cricket Fast Lane, Umrah Malik. At this year's IPL, this 22-year-old, that's right, 22 years of age, Umrah Malik has clocked an incredible 157 kilometres per hour. That is real quick, trust me. I know it's like the bowl over 150 k's, it hurts. This guy's a gun. So about guns, he's pushed that speed gun, that needle right up towards that 160 barrier. He's only just begun. Now, I often get asked, what do I like and what do I think about Umrah Malik? Well, for me, it's all about the approach. When you look at an aeroplane takeoff, what do you see straight first and foremost? It's the approach, it's the takeoff, it's the build up of speed. The aeroplane, it goes along, it builds its speed up and then it takes off. That's what makes a good fast bowler. The approach, you see him about 35 metres away from the batsman. He gets going, he pumps the arms and legs, runs in like a sprinter, gets the ball up and delivers that ball at a fearful pace of over 150 k's. That's what I love about him. But you also think about the upsides and the downsides of fast bowling with the white ball. Yes, he's been expensive in a few matches, but he's only 22 years of age, so I'm not worried about that. My advice to Umran Malik right now is to run in and bowl as fast as you can. Yes, the action's perfect. I wouldn't change his action. I think he's got a few more Ks up his sleeve with his front arm, which I'll get to in a second, but I wouldn't change what he's done because one thing you cannot um, take away from this young fella at 22 years of age is raw pace. Now, people will often die to try to bowl over 140 Ks. This guy does it easily. Um, if I met Umran, what would I tell him? I'd just tell him just to keep doing what he's doing. Enjoy bowling fast. You can see the look on his face, the the, the passion, that, that raw love that he gets from bowling fast. And the reason why it is so exciting is because it's so hard to do. It's such a natural talent. Now, I promise you, without not meeting this guy yet, I bet you at school this guy was a fast runner, 100% a fast sprinter, and that's what makes him the bowl that he is. Um, I think also, too, he might be a chance to be fast-tracked to the Indian cricket team. I know that it's a big call, but what I can say about Umran Malik is that he's got pace to burn. So get him in there at 22 years of age, about the same age I was when I debuted for Australia against India. I say get him in there, have him have a crack, get him in there and get that experience. Um, the thing that he will do is learn a lot of the fast bowlers and also learn how to, to harness that aggression and that energy without losing the pace. So yes, it's all well and good to bowl 150 Ks. You still have to bowl the right line length, of course. But I reckon one thing you don't want to do is tell this guy to bowl 135 K outswingers because it won't work. He has to bowl 150 Ks. The first time I saw Umran Malik bowl, I thought of the great Pakistan bowler, Wakar Yunus. The way that he ran in, the the approach, um, you know, that jump, that slide through the crease and that bang, that snap down that front arm when he bowled. So I think he's got a lot to live up to. I, I believe that, you know, being that Indian superstar that he will be at the age of 22 and seeing all these other bowls from around the world being almost harnessed into his body. And that one that I mentioned, of course, was Wakar Yunus. This guy's got a huge career ahead of him. I think for me, um, my, my dream for Umran Malik is just to sort of keep bowling fast, go past that 155 consistently. Look, he won't bowl 157 Ks every time he bowls, and we know that. There'll be different situations where his pace will be about 145 Ks, and might slide down to 140. But the one thing I will say about Umran Malik is that he has to contend with injury, and that will happen, unfortunately. When you push yourself as hard as what he does, and as hard as what I used to do, you run in flat out every single ball. At some stage, your body will give in, but you have to try to lessen those amounts of times happening 
And my advice then would be, make sure you work really hard on your body and your strength without being bulky, not in the gym doing heavy weights, light weights, making sure you're working on your sprinting, flexibility, ice baths, overrated, don't add ice baths. But most importantly, have that commitment to yourself to train harder than anybody else. Work on your sprinting, the faster you run, the faster you'll bowl. Well, there's my thoughts on Umra Malik. Of course, let me know what you think. Like and share this video. And what else you want to see on Brett Lee TV? Ask me about more about him or any other young fast bowler or batsman coming through. And of course, when you subscribe to this channel first, remember one thing, always click on the bell icon. See you soon.